So hello there and welcome back. I was kind of excited for today's video. You see, I have here an IPAC RZ 1710 model. Uh, even though this is only an entry-level model, I still felt it was necessary to present it on the channel since many of you uh, get uh, acquainted with pocket PCs mainly through this uh, bottom bargain basement whatever cheapo gadget device. So I only paid three euros for this example but there is a caveat because it actually starts but it doesn't quite function all that well. But more in due time, so I propose we go tabletop view and speak some more about this pocket PC. So anyway, the iPack RZ uh, 1710, not one of HP's better efforts, but it's pretty common since it was cheap and you can really feel it. So I just have to easily force it and it, it creaks quite a lot and that's because it's made out of uh, plastic but not of high quality plastic it's only some painted uh, bezel on the front and uh, the housing on the back really is just uh, it's just a matte uh, rough finish meant to resist a scratch and dirt and so on. So really it's not a great device. It mainly feels like, uh, you know, a disposable camera in that sense. So uh, have iPack tried to, had they tried to invent the disposable pocket PC? This thing has an encapsulated battery, but it's not the premium device like we're used to today with glass and metal sandwich smartphones which have um, uh, have no battery removal capacity. This is just a screwed in battery and it's fixed in place. Now the buttons here on, on the front don't feel extremely well but they don't feel worse than similar eye packs. The stylus however, even the stylus is pretty thin and pretty <laughs> low cost. Now the problem with this particular device is that it doesn't want to calibrate the screen. I'll try to operate it while speaking to you. So as you can see this is just a show. I got this thing for 3 euros and I was hoping to use it. I got it without a charger and seeing as I have a lot of iPacks, links around here to our, my review of them. Um, I figured I would take this and use my chargers to charge it up. I was pretty certain that it will start up given that it's looking in fairly good aesthetic condition. Sadly, uh, the screen doesn't calibrate. I tried several times, about 10 times, a dozen times. I tried to calibrate the screen, but it just simply does not want to function. So yeah, it's no. basically what I'm trying to do with this video is to show you that if you are into pocket PCs, and if you're really uh, trying to get some collection starting, I don't really think this RZ17000 series is really worth it. There's the 1710, there's the 1715 or something like that. But really, it's not something you would desire. So in terms of specs, it's rather ridiculous, but it sports uh, Windows Mobile 2003 second edition and it has a 203 megahertz processor. <laughs> I cannot say that with a straight face. 32 megabytes of ROM and 32 megabytes of RAM. It has a 3.5 inch 
color TFT display with 240 by 320 resolution and it only offers infrared port, no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi, no anything else. So this video is important and it's not a missed opportunity. You can check out my other videos for the in-depth review and experience with HP Pocket PCs. So, as always, thanks for watching and remember, I buy, own, hoard and collect weird, useless, obsolete tech stuff like this IPAC RZ 1710 so you don't have to. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.